What do you call this movement in English? How about this one? Or this? You're going to learn all these expressions and many more in today's lesson about common collocations. We'll look at verbs plus body parts. Collocations are common combinations of words that go together naturally in a language. And you can learn lots more of them inside my ebook, 1000 English Collocations in 10 Minutes a Day. Click on the link under the video to learn more and to sign up for those lessons. Okay, here we go. We'll start with verbs we can use with your head. When you nod your head, you move your head up and down. This means yes, or I agree, or I approve. When you shake your head, you move your head from side to side. This means no, or I disagree, or disapprove. The verb nod can be used alone, but not shake. So we could say, I asked my boss if he liked my idea and he nodded, or he nodded his head. I think it's great, he said. I asked my boss if he liked my idea and he shook his head. I don't think it'll work, he said. With nod, we can use it alone or with head, but with shake, we have to say shake one's head. To turn your head is to direct it to one side. We can also say turn towards when the person turns to look at something and turn away when the person turns in the opposite direction. For example, Sarah turned towards me when I called her name. I asked her why she was so angry, but she turned away and wouldn't look at me. When someone is ashamed, they might hang their head like this. The expression hang your head is only used for doing it with that feeling of shame. But if we do that same movement, putting our chin down and looking down to pray or to show respect, then that's called bowing your head. Our next movement is rolling your eyes. It's often done when you are annoyed, when you want to be sarcastic, or when you think something is stupid. Be careful with this gesture because it can be impolite. For example, the teacher rolled her eyes when the class asked her for the 10th time what page the homework was on. You wink when you close only one eye and quickly open it again. This means something is funny or cute. Sometimes people also wink when they are romantically interested in another person. You blink when you close both eyes and quickly open them again. This gesture doesn't have any particular meaning because we do it constantly. When you raise an eyebrow, only one eyebrow, it means you are curious, suspicious, or skeptical of something. When you raise your eyebrows, two eyebrows, it usually means that you're surprised. When you blow your nose, you put air out of your nose to try to clean out the contents into a tissue or handkerchief. Try not to do this in public. It's also considered rude and gross to pick your nose, put a finger in there to get the mucus out. Children often do this. Another thing kids do is stick out their tongues to be silly or to tease another child. Depending on the attitude of the person doing it, it can also be rude. We also teach children to cover their mouths when they cough or sneeze and to wipe their mouths with a napkin when there's food or drink on them. Moving down to our neck, we have the expression clear your throat, which is a sound. <clears throat> Many people try to clear their throat when they are sick, but it can also be used in social situations to try to get someone's attention. You can shrug your shoulders to say, I don't know, I don't care, or it's not important. The verb shrug can also be used alone. For example, I asked him which movie he wanted to see and he shrugged. It's your decision, he said. You can cross your legs. This doesn't have any particular meaning. It's just a way to sit. You can also cross your arms. Now, in some cases, crossing your arms can be neutral, but sometimes it's done to show that you are angry or you don't want to talk to people. So it's good to avoid this position in social situations. The expression keeping your fingers crossed has a special meaning in English. It means to hope for good luck or a positive result. For example, on Wednesday, I'll find out if I passed the English test. Oh, really? Do you think you did? Well, the test was difficult, so I'm not sure. Keep your fingers crossed. Next, we have giving someone the finger, putting up your middle finger, which is an extremely rude gesture. Some other idioms for this gesture are flip someone off and flip someone the bird. We can make this noise. This is called snapping my fingers. And this noise. This is called clapping my hands. 
Another gesture we can do is give a thumbs up. It means you approve of something or think it's great. If you give a thumbs down, it means you disapprove of something or you think it's terrible. Well, I hope you'll give a thumbs up to this lesson. You now know 25 combinations of verbs that we use with different parts of the body. To continue learning collocations, make sure to get 1,000 collocations in 10 minutes a day. The lessons are easy to do quickly and they also come with quizzes to help you practice. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.